on guys joe with omgrc here so today i have the blackout from red cat it's the xte i have the pro version and i have the brushed version here so let's go ahead and we can do a side by side comparison kind of go over that so let's get the unboxing done and over with let's get into what it comes right. with before we get into the box just real quick want to go over okay this is a brushless system it is a one tenth scale as far as what it comes with as far as it's waterproof electronic speed controller and such the electronics it's ready to run. That means you're going to need either, we're going to find out here because they've switched out a lot of their radio controls. In some cases, they give you the 4AA radio and sometimes they give you the 8AA radio, depending on, I guess, where they're at as far as phasing out the old stuff or depending on what version you're buying. Anyway, brushless system, 4x4, all ball bearing, all that good stuff. Some of the specs in regards to it as well. You can kind of go over. We'll go ahead and bring that up closer to you so you guys can pause it if need be on that part so you can kind of see as far as you know you're going to get a lipo battery that's in there you got your brushless system your electronic speed control that's in there some of the aluminum parts that are in there as well so all good on that part of it and you should they'll give you a charger also all right enough being said with the box let's get into what's in the box all right pop the top you can see how it's packaged anyhow I haven't touched it at all let's go into let's get to the radio i know the boring stuff right now but let's see what radio they give us still. Ooh, I'm liking it. I'm like, oh, yes. All right. So, thank you, Red Cat. All right. Why am I thanking Red Cat is because the four AA batteries. Why? Here's what they were giving before. I didn't mind the remote itself. The problem is it takes eight AA batteries. It's ridiculous. So, Now, this could only be for maybe the Pro. I don't know how much what it's going to be when it comes to the brush. They may have changed that one as well, but put the 4 AA battery radio in there. Okay, I guess if you're first tuning into this and want to know what is up with on the top there, so you have your power, you have your different uh, trims that you can do, reverse and all that stuff as far as for the electronic speed controller or your servo. So those are those settings in there. Also, what else is in the box? Well, if you're new to the hobby, the only thing that you need to grab for this particular kit is going to be four AA batteries, and then you're good to go. Because they do provide you with a LiPo charger as well as you well as you get a LiPo battery inside. So if you're looking for this for a gift for anybody or for yourself and you're new to the hobby, hey, it's all covered, man. At least you get you started with getting your RC and going out and having a good time. You just need the four AA batteries. All right, moving forward what's in there go ahead and i'll get this out of the box all right so what comes in the package as well I can move it a little bit here so you get your owner's manual and such so definitely something in here's some other stuff if you want to upgrade for instance as far as you know, some of the batteries but um just to kind of throw it out there too you know want to go with something with a high c rating when it comes to the batteries so anyway that's something for another day also if by chance you did have another RC car and it uses this type of connection on it, you could plug that into that previous battery and then they would have that Dean connection. So let's get into what is underneath this truck. But let's first check out this truck. Let's go ahead and get the plastic off of here. And it took one of the pins with it. Okay. That's on that part of it. So anyway, as far as the outside differences when it comes to the brushed and the brushless system, no difference on that part of it. I do like this body top on there. Um, they do have like the blue one and, and such like that, but I like that gray. I like the carbon fiber look. It kind of has a carbon fiber-ish look to it. it. They're basically just gray lines that are in there, but it kind of from a distance, it might kind of look like a faux carbon fiber kind of thing. Anyway, as far as the battery construction also, not the, not the, the body construction, sorry. I don't think, it's not super thick, but it's not thin too much. It's pretty much your standard run of the mill. I'm gonna give it that. I don't have anything to size that up, but I feel like it's pretty durable. And I know that it is pretty durable because we've, we've crashed the other one a little bit here and there, but it's held up very well for over a year. All right, so looking at this one, you do get the Dean 
slash T style connection as far as battery terminal on there. So that's nice on that part of it. I like that blue anodized brushless motor that's on there. I've never owned this particular brushless system from Red Cat. So I'll be interesting to see what's different or how fast it actually is. So I can also, you know, it is coming with the 2S LiPo. I believe it's a 60 amp electronic speed controller. I believe that's in there anyhow. Yes. All right. Is it 3S capable? I assume it could be. So I'll need to find out about that one as well. So now these tags that are here, they tag these things on everything. I don't know how much I should be reading of this or not, but it says this electronic speed controller is designed for like a four to nine cell nickel metal or a two to three S LiPo battery. Basically, if you go over a two S LiPo, then you're required to buy the 12 volt fan because it's got a five volt that's in there. I don't know. I just run it. I, they seem to stick this thing on a lot. Even they did it on a 4S uh, landslide. And I'm like, well, it's, it's already, it's at, it uses, it's a 4S system already out the door. But you have a sticker that says capable of 2 to 3S and it needs a 12 volt fan. I don't know. So that's a little bit weird on that part of it. All right. I'm already seeing some stuff that's different about this one already as far as how the shocks are. So let's go over that. All right, so let's go over what you get with the brushless system. And I'll just see if maybe you can see a little bit of a difference as far as the shock towers go. The, the shocks that are on the brushless system, a little bit bigger than the ones that come on the brushed system. As far as the battery goes that you get with the brushed system, it's gonna be like a 3000. It's gonna be this little battery right here. So you get this battery, 7.2 volts, 3,000. Uh, when it comes to the brush system, or brushless system, sorry. 3,200, 7.4 volt, 20C discharge on that part of it. Same for the most part. I mean, you're really splitting hairs about the same voltage anyway. So with that, now, as far as, like I said, the shock's definitely bigger on that part of it. You get a better servo on the brushless system than you do on the brushed system. Very weak when it comes to the brushed version. This one doesn't want to really turn just because of the fact that it's got a servo saver just like this one does, but that servo it has a lot more torque in it, so it's not going to move as easy. So you're not, you don't get all that. This one, you can. it's so easy to move. This, this one, it doesn't want to turn so much. The servo saver is what's kind of making it flex that way. Anyway, allowing it to move. All right. Now that we went over as far as the shocks, that's gonna be your major difference as far as that goes. That suspension is nice on here. Can't really base this one because it needs a little bit of work with the suspension. It needs some oil and just kind of a little bit of going over on this one. But to kind of at least show you a little bit on that part of it. So let's go ahead and grab this brushless system here and kind of go over that a little bit. This is a 60 amp electronic speed controller. Unfortunately, even just reflecting it on Red Cat's website, it says it's a 45 amp. The box says it's 60 amps, and the electronic speed controller shows it right here. That should be a 60 amp as well, waterproof. It's kind of hard to see in there a little bit. That controller's gonna, or that wire's gonna flop down. Anyway, so you get the Dean style connection that's right there. If it was 3D, it'd be jumping right out you. So, all right, as far as the switch location, same spot and everything like that, as far as on and off switch. So if you guys have one of these, you guys still aluminum drive shaft, aluminum drive, uh, support um, chassis brace there as well. Just the same as on your brushed. So now we're just pretty much, it's apples to apples on a lot of the other stuff other than, like I said, those shocks and stuff like that. Uh, you know, one thing that's nice too, if by chance you are new and you're kind of looking at all this stuff, as far as when it comes to, like if you were to break one of these arms, these little control arms, you could... And they're going to be the same. They're identical all the way around. So it doesn't matter. You flip them. You can tell everything's identical from one side to the other. So that's what's nice about these is that if you break something, you're not having, oh, I need to go and get, what did he need? You know, if this is for your son or whatever, have you, yourself. Oh, do I need front ones or rear ones? Nope. You just need, just get those, those arms, those control arms. And do you just get a pack? You know, you get a, a pair. So that's definitely nice on that. Um, that's the same kind of setup when it comes to 
these upper arms as well that are here too. So that's nice on that part of it. Lots of adjustments. The same goes for the brushed one as well. So kind of that way you guys can kind of see like, oh yeah, that's, that's the same on there as well. Um, only thing that they did was, oh, change the motor, change this uh, electronic speed controller, and change as far as you know, the switch, but then as far as your servo as well. So again, it's a weaker servo that's in there. Um, so yes, what I'm gonna do also, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and do a head-to-head -head run with these, kind of let you know, like, oh man, yeah, I can definitely tell, because I've not owned a brushless system as far as Red Cat when it comes to the blackout. So I'd definitely like to see how much faster it is. And I want to let you guys know also, you're, somebody might be thinking, can that run a 3S? That's a great question. Something I don't know. I was looking on Red Cat's website, even just on the OMGRC. It's going to be the same identical information as well, since we get the information from Red Cat. And nowhere does it state that I could find that it said that it could be 3S. Now, granted, if you have the brush system, you can run it on a 3S. So it's going to give you... A little bit more speed is it going to be as fast as this brushless system no so if you don't really know too much about motors and stuff like that and what's the difference between a brushed system and a brushless system that might be something i have to do for another day but keeping it simple it's going to be like the brush system is kind of well it's not a good motor well it's not a great motor for this particular application it's slower we're going to go it's slower but the brushless systems are definitely, uh, you know, going to get more speed and stuff like that. So it's a premium model. And of course, that's why you're paying more for it if you go with the, the brushless system, the pro version of it. So anyway, All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. So if you're new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. Also, check out omgrc.com. You guys have been around a little bit. Definitely leave a comment below. Give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked the video. We're definitely going to do a head-to-head -head comparison of these two and they can see how much faster this brushless system is over this brush system. So we'll leave those links below so you guys can check them both out anyhow. Until next time, this is Joe with OMGRC. You guys take care. Later.